Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today doing the Iron Man Season 6 Challenge. Um, kind of just working on upgrading the SV to get it prepped for the next mission. And yeah, so I made a bunch of stuff. For it so let's put that in you can see I got a lot of missiles a lot of missiles and they're the homing missiles because I made four of the rocket launcher homing rocket launchers rocket launcher homing launchers yeah okay so oh you can see I also made six T3 auto miner devices which took a lot more restroom and zascosium than I thought they would <laughs> uh, I made another RCS because I found it a little bit sluggish in the in responsiveness not in sp well speed will help with the with the thrusters so this should help with the with the turning and rolling and all that sort of stuff okay uh, so let's get these in so let we're going to need to get that in there too. So, first off, so I extracted everything from the back. It's like a channel down here with all the thrusters. Uh, so, let's put these longer ones in. I know these ones are uh, one block longer, but this was actually designed. Oh, you know what? They're going to fall right through. I'm not going to be able to do that. So let's put these weapons in first. <laughs> okay. That'll give it a bit of a backstop to, for the thrusters. So I think we're just going to line them up just, just like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. I know they're really exposed, but <clears throat> whatever. If they blow up, I'll build more. I'll fly away and build more, and I'll, I'll run away like a scared little girl and build more and come back. Okay. So, let's do this. So that's one, two, and is that all the way? It's hard to tell sometimes. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing, too. So, there, there, and there. Okay, so there's my six facing forward. Very important. Um, and then we want various ones up and down. So I think we want two down at this point. So... Oh, I was on the right axis there. Let's just flip that. So we want two like this. Boom. Boom. Then we want... Three up. So... Oh, I was on the right axis. So one two, three up. Okay. So I gotta spin these. So two down. One, two, and come on. Get in there. One, two, <clears throat> and then one, two, Three facing up, and then another one facing down. Come on. To balance it out a bit. Come on, get in there. Okay. And then we've got our ones facing back. And these will stick out a bit, but that's fine. OK, 
Okay. Already looks faster, doesn't it? And then these ones. So we will change to this. Let's one. We'll just do six in a row. Two, three, four, five, and six. So that's that side done. And oh, let's flip that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's a block there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that out. And I'm going to put the RCS where that was. OK, and then I can put the block back in. So, and that is just a steel block. I'll have to upgrade that. Unless I have some, yeah, let's, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I know I got the plates. I got the plates. I got the plates for sure. OK. So. Uh, I probably got the plates in the CV even. Let's take a look. Yep. Okay. Okay, and then <clears throat> uh, texture tool, texture tool. color tool. Okay, so we want that was the this one, I believe. Yes. Okay, and then oh, it only did the one side. Oh, I gotta fix that, so that's whole block. And okay. Um, okay, I think I was just using the default. Yep. So that should be fine. There we go. There we go. Oh, let's paint this. So, like everything, <laughs> it's just black. For now. It does grow, glow green when you turn it on. Okay, let's get uh, these thruster jets painted. Okay. Good. Nice, and I think that's it, right? Okay. Okay, so there we go. We've um, we've upgraded the bug eye bus. Let's put some missiles in it, and ooh, we gotta regroup everything because now we've got to put everything back into the engines group. Okay. That way it turns the RCSs off at the same time when you turn the thrusters. Just, it's just a pet peeve of mine. Okay. Uh, that should do it. Let's juice this thing. Mm. Let's put that mini in. That's obviously not going to work because the uh, mini gun that it equipped <laughs> in its dual bar couldn't load it and shoot it. So, yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, I actually tried that. You can see it on the last video. It's, I'm not proud of it, but... Okay. Let's do this. Put this away. Uh, I... You know what? I'm going to hold on to these right now. I'm not quite done with them. Oh, we got some gold. We should actually throw that in the, uh... In the ATM. Mm, put this in the ammo. Ammo. Don't have much in there yet. Uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll work on that. It's because I load it into all my ships as soon as I make it, right? I've got a bit there. So, I, you know what? Fine. I'll put that in there. There we go. Some substantial ammo. Uh, we'll hold on to those. Okay. So, let's take it out for a quick spin. Shall we? And, whoa, it thrusts instantly. And it is a little bit more responsive. It's not quite so sluggish. There we go. This is this is how I like it. It's not twitchy, but it's smooth and fast. There we go. That's much better. And being able to fly backwards just as fast, upside down, as <laughs> frontwards is pretty cool. Okay, okay, let's stop that. Okay, okay, okay. We don't need to go into orbit, orbit backwards and spinning in a circle. So, yeah. Nice. This thing uh, handles awesome now. And... <laughs> a thousand homing missiles. <laughs> okay. We'll crash into my... Uh, my CV there. That would not be cool. So yeah, there we go. We've got... Uh, we've got a very maneuverable little hot rod SV now. With some armor and some punch so we should be able to take out pretty much anything's turrets except for some space monstrosity i guess a big base with like multi plasma artillery turret freaking laser laser turrets those those pulse laser turrets geez those things are actually deadly Oof. okay anyway there we have it. Yeah, foggy day. I'm not going to get a lot of energy, am I? What's it say? One bar? Wow, that sucks. I love how maneuverable and responsive this thing is now. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, when you got the right tools, you can do the right job. That's all I'm saying. So, speaking of right tools, and I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about another good tool to add to our... I guess you're wondering where my HV went, right? See? See? I can't see it, can you? No? No? That's because I multi-tooled it. <laughs> yes, the hover box, I multi-tooled it. And here, let's let's just uh we'll uh we'll go here for a second. And we'll just land. Cause it it don't matter. Let's just let's just land. We'll just land. Cut shut her down. Get out. Okay, this thing performs like a dream now. That's the only sketchy part is when you jump up on the back fins. That's danger. Danger zone. Danger. You will die. Don't don't stand up on the back fins. Okay, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. I might redesign this 
for easier standing sniping capability maybe some I don't know I might redesign the front of this but in the time being it actually flies quite nice and it's very well balanced and and it's 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 a pretty good little hot rod for for a warp capable SV that can take on a POI I bet you no problem I dropped it down to two uh, of the Gatling guns that that will be sufficient that will be sufficient because if I have any problems with like large minigun drones I can shoot one volley of missiles at it and hit it for sure because they're homing missiles so I won't be wasting homing missiles when I shoot them anymore hopefully unless I miss <laughs> obviously with the crosshairs but I won't pull the trigger then right hopefully anyway today we are going to show off one of my old designs that's going to get us some resources even better than the hover box did and so I'll just spawn it out here I multi-tooled down the hover box and threw it in the plan and now that I had a whole bunch I had all that all the resources right the Neo and and Sath and Arrestrim and Zascosium so I was able to actually get some good spawns in here this is this is a design I made in Alpha 6 whoops no I didn't want that let's just go in here and it's my heavy drill but I've modified it a bit this one actually does not have an artillery turret on the top or a drill turret on the back it just has the six laser ones with a multi turret on the top and some other stuff you'll see so we'll spawn this out here okay so here is my hover vehicle it is believe it or not this configuration of the lasers works really well on a vehicle like this I can I can spin in a circle create a nice saucer shaped hole and just dig a tunnel down I, I can spin around and dig dig it out really fast it does not get stuck uh, compared to the T1 drills it's way better it can it can dig out and we're gonna go do that we're gonna go dig something out we're gonna throw down these auto miners and we're gonna yeah we're gonna take this out for a ride now did I actually make some ammo here oh I was making fuel there did I make ammo here at least please tell me I have some ammo yes I thought I did okay so we're gonna load this puppy up with some well I actually want those other missiles back because now the HV shares the same missiles so come on I know I put it in here somewhere didn't I ammo no oh there's more Jeez. Got lots of ammo in that one okay so that is the base ammo I guess so I just put it in this ammo but yeah why would I do that anyway so as you can see I'm gonna take you for a little tour it has four homing missile or homing rocket turrets and four minigun turrets it's got the multi turret at the top there it used to have a drill turret on the back back aiming straight down but uh, I just didn't find it that effective um, all of its thrusters are the jet thrusters it's got four of the large uh, hover engines and it's got six of the laser drills plus two Gatling guns on the front now it also has quite the bulkhead in front of it as you can see it's pretty deep it goes it has to penetrate through one two three four five layers of steel to get to the cockpit which again it, it this has my basic box top design 
so that you don't have to get out at all. But it also has side compartment, and this this was made on a multiplayer server, so of course it's it has rear seats. Anyway, I have these little I don't know you can call them little like spy kill boxes. So <clears throat> you're able to uh, get in here and and be able to like draw one enemy at a time uh, up to the HV if you want. Um, you can be hovering quite a bit off the ground so they can't get in and, and you can really snipe stuff and just take care of stuff and also be hidden still and you know do whatever you want you can spawn your drone you can whatever you want to do so and it's also very easy entrance into so basically what you do is you just go running and you turn you jump a little you're in it's not a big deal. It's actually pretty smooth and easy. And also from the front, <clears throat> it's really easy because you just run up and you fall in. And it's 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 way easier to get in than the um, than the hover box was. It's like substantially easier to get in. So this is going to be the new HV that we'll be using for the rest of the series. And I love how it drives, and we're going to take it out for a run. We're going to, we're going to, oh, you know what? Um, I personally think we need to, well, first of all, we should fill up these. Okay. Fill this. And let's jump out for a second you can see it's got the same box top design it's going to allow me to spawn my my um, drone but I think it looks pretty cool it's it's one of my earlier designs and we're going to take it out for a run here and I'll show you what it can do we're going to go mine we're going to go throw these uh, mining drones out and yeah, it's 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 actually pretty cool. Up here, an artillery turret will fit up here, no problem if you want. And it used to the other version does have one. It has an artillery turret and a drill turret on the back instead of the multi turret, uh, but much more expensive. So, um, and really, I only need the, the the front drills here anyway. So, yeah, yeah. First of all. Let's set our systems up. So we're going to go into our devices here. We're going to make sure everything is grouped. No, it's not. So we're just going to group, auto group everything really quick. And then we're going to go back in here. We make sure that we have an engines one. Yes. So we did make an en engines one. Oh, it's all over the place, isn't it? Drill and artillery. That all doesn't matter anymore. Um, so those are all just from the original blueprint, uh, but still I'm going to have to actually put everything into, where's the hover engine? There it is. So these hover boosters, I'm realizing I don't think multiple ones help at all. So I'll probably get rid of a bunch of these, but for now it doesn't matter. We'll just put that here. We'll take it out for a spin. I'll show you. I was adding more on, trying to get it to boost higher, but it wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. So I'm going to be boosting that up and popping those off. And I forgot to take them off before I re did the blueprint so it has all these extra hovers on it oh well whatever um, okay so we're gonna put the RCS so 33 RCS's um, huh, it's damaged already isn't that interesting I must have blueprinted it damaged <laughs> that's kind of pathetic okay we uh, get all these on so there's not necessarily an even amount 
all the way around on this thing but it's a it's a hover it's not the same as a SV it doesn't need necessarily perfect balancing um, yeah yeah okay so I think that's oh actually let's set the turrets up so that they don't shoot at predators warp drives turret thruster come on or generators <laughs> literally we're turning everything off now the reasoning in is, is I don't want to take out any turrets on a POI that I shouldn't be taking out and disqualify myself so we'll do this and this should take care of drones just fine If it's a large drone that it won't shoot at, then I might have to activate the the turret or mounted weapon. I forget which one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so that should be good now. Uh, let's put all these. We can turn this off and then turn it back on. And let's... Yeah, that's working fine. We will hover and okay. This thing flies so smooth, I love it. Oh, it's just it's just a dream to hover in. Oh my god, it's it's like it's a noticeable difference over the hover box. It's just weird, even though that it doesn't have that much bigger of a footprint, but it's a little bit wider. It's a little bit wider, and that makes a big difference. Yeah, it's so smooth, and it can just power up this stuff like nothing plow through trees whatever now let's try a cliff face see that there's a spider on that cliff face a spider at the top of the mountain and there we go it just climbs it no problem didn't really bitch at all it wasn't super fast, but, I mean, come on. It's a hover vehicle going straight up. Yeah, I love this thing. This is probably, to date, my best maneuvering vehicle that I've made. It just, it's so smooth. Ugh. Oh. It's just... Oh, I love it. I love it. It consumes a lot of energy, though, folks. Be prepared to go through some energy. But, you know what? If you can pay for it, it's nice. It's nice. It might not be your everyday driver, but... Um, it's what you're going to pick the little woman up and take to a good restaurant in so yeah I have no idea what that means okay let's uh, let's quit dall dallying here so let's look at the map what we're probably gonna get is oh what was what was that flash over there was that oh that was lightning that was lightning over there. That looked like a CV spawning in. It just kind of worried me, right? So I was like, oh no, what's going on? This is a Kua. At least this thing has missiles. I don't know who I'd put money on. The... The CV on Oscatoon? this well let me tell you I've actually taken well the 
this thing's bigger brother with the artillery turret anyway. I've actually had it up against hard CVs and have beaten the CVs, so it's doable. The, the, uh, the homing rockets are just super powerful. They make life a lot easier. Look at those flashes. That's crazy, eh? Okay, enough dallying. Let's look at the map. We're going to go get some resources. So we're going to get uh, two iron. We're going to get two promethium and one of each copper and silicone. So let's find some big ones. 1,200. 2,500. 1,200. 860. 2,500. Uh, that's almost already half gone. Village. Manufactory. I wonder if it'll shoot. I wonder if the Manufactory will shoot at my... 1,200, 2,500, 5, 4. Okay, so meh. Um, hmm. Oh, I've pretty much revealed everything, too, except for one silicone. Really? Okay. So, okay. Ooh, 1,200 copper. Okay, so I think that's the copper, and that's the iron. So we want this copper here. This is by the other quam centers. Okay. The other side of the planet. Eh, we can get to it from the water. Yep. And what's this one? 1200, 860, 540, 540. So let's do this silicone. Let's do this silicone. Oh, I don't have any food on me. Maybe I should grab some food really quick. So let's just go like this. Let's drive up to the base here really quick. And well, I guess I didn't need to drive up to it. I'll just jump out for a second. Open my hatch and spawn my drone. Oops. Spawn my drone and just look at my base. And then grab some food. Oh, I had some on me. I guess I probably didn't need any. Eh, I'll grab a couple chunks. Just, uh, that should be fine. That'll keep us going. Okay. We've got lots of fuel. Yep. <clears throat> lots of ammo. Oh, the gold coins we never did. Ah, uh, we'll do those later. Yeah. Okay. Good. We're fine. Let's go drop these out. And then we'll dig up uh, a deposit just to show you show this thing off to you guys I guess <laughs> well and to dig up the deposit but so let's go here and oops. I'll try straightening this out with just the RCS power is it gonna work can I do it? Ah. We got clipped in a little wedge there. Oh well. What am I stuck on? Am I stuck on something? Oh, that's what it was. I was actually impaled on a log. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was pathetic. <sighs> okay, so let's um try and get this to sit fairly flat. Oh, there's a, a night raptor. Yeah. Go away. Okay, come on. Okay, what does that look like? Come on, can we get... Ah, uh, there? No, that was bad. No. Come on, we're just making it worse. Stop the dirt. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it to settle down. And at full... Oh. 
There we go, that's not bad. Is this gonna do it? Is this gonna do it? Oh, oh my god, that thing is loud. No, we're way off kilter. Okay. So I don't think it matters. Let's do this here. Uh, we'll spawn the drone. And actually, I am gonna close the. I'm gonna close this on myself. Just, just because. Just because. And oh wait, what are we doing? I'm not gonna mine this thing. Okay. So, right. Derp a derp. Now that I have this thing, what I can do is I can step out. Come on. Really? Are you not going to let me step out? It's too much of an angle. Ah. And, okay, so that can be dangerous then. If this is on too much of an angle, I don't think I want to get out. <laughs> Let's, uh... Where is that thing? It's right there. Yeah. We'll, um, we'll come back to it. Well, this is where I want to put the silicone, though, so let's, let's not come back to it. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this, damn it. Where are you, screaming frickin' thing? Come on, you screaming lizard. There you are. Oh yeah, let's just miss him. Okay, so he's dead. And I don't see any immediately around, so let's let's lower this thing. man over there that looks like a bug man over there that's okay he's pretty far he's pretty far we should be able to pull this off let's do this why am I oh it's on an angle again that's okay let's go like this <laughs> there nothing can really see me good let's grab these Now, we do, we've got to be careful not to fling away our vehicle. And, oh, was I not quite close enough? No. Okay, so let's fill that up. Okay, so it should mine that out, no problem. We'll come back in a while. We'll come back tomorrow or the next day, I guess. And that should be all mined out. Let's, uh... Should we go deal with these drones? We have missiles. We have turrets. They'll be coming from... around the mountain when they come. Coming around the mountain when they come. Come on. Around the mountain. Or do I need to be, yeah, I'm right in, I should be like right in the middle between the drone base and my base. That way, yeah. Okay, come on. Come on. Don't have all day. We've got work to do. There, there, there they come. So, let's see what happens, how long it takes for my... They're going to be right on me, too. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, they're shooting right away, look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's drill them. Let's drill them. Doesn't that sound good? Okay, so why weren't my stuff shooting? That was not good. They 
should be shooting. Why aren't my turrets shooting? And, uh, you know what? I got them turned off, I bet, don't I? Let's, um... <laughs> God, I bet you they're turned off. I bet you they're turned off. Yeah, they're turned off. Because that's the default. Oh, are you... You're, you're being lippy, are you? Oh, <laughs> don't think so, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm not really interested in their bits, to tell you the truth. We can, um... We've got better things to do right now. Let's get these going here. So that was the silicone. And now we're going to go put down on two prometheums. There's 1800, 1800. But will they get shot by drones? I don't think they do. And then a couple of iron, a small copper. We can mine that out. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Okay, let's go up this way now. So, that's the silicone, the base. And iron. And then when I come check up on them, I'll just turn them off. And then when I come back, when I want to check up on them, I turn them off, find them, and turn them off again. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. And I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful not to kill anything on the inside of the factory because that's not our mission. Oh, did I just knock a tree over? I did, wow. That's not good. We should have put some harvest modules on the front of this. We're gonna have to make some when we get back. So here's iron of 1200. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you really quick how this thing mines. So let's switch to mine mode. And where's the nuggets? There they are, straight down there. So you can see I can tip this thing right on its nose and just dig in. I'm just gonna create the tree right here is actually a little bit annoying. Um, actually, it's very annoying. If I hit it hard enough, it should be able to... I don't have a harvest with me, so I'm gonna have to like go like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye, tree. Wasting my resources like that, but that's okay. You can see that. No one hung up there. Just poof, right into it. And we can lower this down if you want. So, what I need to do is just hover in a big circle, spin around and just cut it in the dirt just to make this wide enough so that so that I can fit this whole thing in and spin it around once I got that going then so there can be some unnecessary digging at first but that's okay
get out of my pit, buddy. Wow. Boundaries. Okay, come on, I'm right on top of them instead of... There we go. There we go. Now I get it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, let's turn my lights off. Yeah, that's much better. Now I can see where they all are. I didn't really actually look. I wasn't paying attention. So that was 1,200. And, um, yeah, I mean, when we look at the cargo boat, well, there's nothing in that one. What about the other one? There it is. So, yeah, 1,200. Okay. Uh, let's go place these. So there's Promethium over there. Let's go do that. Okay, so baddies. I saw one of them. I mean, realistically, that was so freaking fast. Why would I... It's almost the same amount of time as it takes to... to mine it with an auto miner by, by not doing anything, just going out, placing it, coming back, and collecting it. Like, seriously. Wasn't it? About the same... So, it, uh, I don't even... Wow, maybe auto miners is just a waste of time with a vehicle like this. Is it? Is it? Let's see. Let's just pop these. Down here. You can see them there. They're ready to be popped. I just gotta make enough space to get my vehicle in. So as you can see, the uh, the HV laser drills still work pretty awesome. I was saying about six of them, even though that this is a big HV, I'm like maneuvering all over the place, right? So it's, I didn't find this any worse or better than, than a small one. And in fact, this one doesn't bounce around as much as small ones. You know what I'm saying? They can, they can get really bouncy 
especially if you're hovering. This one's at three meters. And it's not that bad. It's fairly smooth. If I lowered it, it would be a little bit smoother, but then it's more prone to get getting hung up on stuff. Okay, and we'll just get out. No problem. My aim. Oh, that's it. It's gone. So, yeah. Um... Is auto miners a waste of time when you have that sort of speed? <sighs> so the one thing the auto miner will do is not create a big hole. And I guess, I guess if you don't have a vehicle like this and you need the resources, you know, sure. But I think we're not even going to bother with them <laughs> if I'm able to gather it this fast. Like, what? what's the point? Um, now I'm just kind of cruising around, aren't I? Yeah. I want to go finish off that one. I can't get close to that. Uh, we can, we should actually go take care of this copper here. And this Promethium. Is that too close to there, though? Maybe not. Is that iron gone? Yeah, we already popped that iron, so let's get rid of that iron. Okay. Now, let's see, is this thing gonna shoot at us? I can't remember if it has turrets on it. Like the little small personal ones. I kind of think it does. Uh, I don't want to deal with it right now. I don't want to deal with it. Let's let's. It's not shooting at me, so that's all I wanted to see. Fairly safe. Fairly safe. There we go. Heads popped. And oh, am I going to have to dig my way out a bit? Come on. Let's. Stupid vision. There we go. Come on. Where is it? Okay, okay, fine. That's the way out. Stupid trees in the way. <laughs> yeah. 
them. That's okay, I'm out. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Really easy to gather resources now. Really easy. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. I think we'll head back. We'll um, put a some uh, harvest modules on the front of this thing. And this is our new daily driver. And oh my goodness, that is a troop transport. I flying way above there. Uh, I better not. I don't want to damage anything. Let's not. Let's not get too, too close to the drone base. Okay. So. I guess I should go after this Prometheum. I might as well just completely take everything off this planet in the way of resources. Like, why not? I'm the only one that's going to benefit from it. <laughs> it's not like it's multiplayer. Although I probably won't need all the Prometheum. Maybe. I don't know. It's here. I can't see it though. Can I see it? Oh, there's a nugget. Oh, there we go. I'm getting out of lines now. Okay, let's lower the height a little bit. We're getting a little squirrely. You can, if it starts getting a little squirrely, because this how you've dug it out. Then you can lower your height a little bit. Especially on the smaller HVs, it really makes a difference lowering your hover height. The bigger ones, it's not as big of an issue, but... Just make sure it's big enough for us to get out. troop transport in my view all the time. <laughs> it's nerve-wracking, really. somewhere let's see if we can let's see if we can see it a little, a little touch of blue that's what we're looking for a little a little sliver of blue no no down there for this thing, it's 1%, it's like a tiny little 10 piece nugget. And no, I'm, I'm not talking about chicken nuggets. Let's just get out of here, let's just leave. We're out of here, that's it, that's it, let's go. And, oh, those are the drones after my base. <laughs> not, not for any longer. <laughs> You're so dead. I'm wasting my ammo, but it's fun. <laughs> it's just so overkill. Oh, I 
love it. Okay. Um, okay, so that was that. Moving on. Uh, we don't need any more promethium. We don't need more promethium. Let's go get that iron there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go do that off camera. I'm going to go around and just mine this freaking planet out. And then I'll probably take this thing up to the moon and start mining the moon out too and getting ready for the uh, moon mission because that's coming up real quick here. i got to start prepping for that right away here and not dally any longer really. Um, Alright, we can actually do stone removal with the lasers now. That's cool. That's cool. That's right. Okay. Well, guys, if you like this episode, give me a like. Um, if you want to know when the next episode comes out, hit your subscribe button and make sure that the notification symbol is turned on for our site and you'll get notified. Well, guys, uh, this was fun. I, we've upgraded the HV, obviously, in a huge way. Uh, the SV in a substantial way too for maneuverability and speed and that's gonna that's gonna help a lot it's got the uh, both vehicles now have the guided rockets so that's gonna make them a lot more accurate and more deadly pack a lot more punch okay guys uh, this was good next episode we'll probably be up on the moon maybe smash the turrets and just kind of nose around at the support base because um, I think it was also guarding some pentaxid or something like that so once we smash the turrets we can take the pentaxid uh, maybe turn that into ammo because <laughs> yeah jeez well I'm alive and I am currently at level 25 with 98 kills and zero deaths. And I'm going to stay that way at least until the next episode. <laughs> Unless I kill myself off camera, which would be tragic and stupid and not unheard of. So you never know. Maybe my next video will be of a, of a dead Z lot. <laughs> Let's hope not. Okay, guys. Take her easy, and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day.